No, because a 50% chance happened like 13 minutes ago. So I can't just re-roll it. So, where do I buy a Classic Controller Pro? Wait, what? It's this cheap? Like, $10? This is not- this can't be the official. Does it say Nintendo on it? If it's official. Oh, it says like Wii, I think. It's still pretty cheap. I like I just opened a random wood page and it says like twenty-seven dollars. It's not too bad. Have I ever made a TAS? Uh, yeah. I have made some Mario 64 stuff. Let me link you a video. Yeah, so there's also the May Flash GameCube adapter. I wonder if that's better than RefNet. Here is a tool assisted thing I did in Mario 64. Yeah, there was a sale like, uh, oh, on the Japanese store. Oh, I don't know. But I think it was a sale on the US store. Sour place. Man, they've been calling me a lot lately. Yeah, okay, this time I'll just do... I'll just do the bomb frame safely and get a free sub-50. No, the Classic Controller Pro doesn't have digital triggers, or it doesn't have analog triggers. It's just on-off button, there's no, did, or there's no analog. But the Classic Controller Not Pro, like the normal Classic Controller, I think that one has analog triggers, and 
for that one it's the same as as with the GameCube adapter where you only have to touch it a little bit that's what I've been told at least I haven't tested anything myself but I asked someone who seemed to know what he was talking about and that's what he told me So yeah, the class controller pro just seems real good. Assuming you can backwalk. <laughs> I hope you can backwalk. But yeah, I also wonder if the May Flash adapter is good. For a TES, that was a pretty bad route. Thanks. Stop placing the bomb down during Megas. Yeah, I feel like it will be easier to press shield and A on the same frame uh, with like normal shoulder buttons. I really like the gamepad shoulder buttons. They're nice. It's just it's just a button, so. I wish the GameCube was uh, the same way. I don't even know what that's even used for. Like uh, on the GameCube controller, where you can sh you can slightly press down the shoulder button, but you can also press it down all the way. I don't know which games that even makes some difference in. But I assume it's used in a bunch of GameCube games. Healing, melee, Luigi's Mansion, squeeze a tiny bit of water out of Mr. Flood. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess it's just using all the GameCube games. Run didn't make it. No, I didn't get the right frame on the bomb. It was a 50% chance, and I didn't get it. I'll do it safer this time to get a uh, free sub 50. But yeah, that, that actually makes me think the game controller might not even be that good for this game, like even on Wii. Uh, I might try the Wii Pro controller when I even when I play on Wii because the better shoulder buttons might just be better. But I don't know. There's probably something bad about it. Oh crap! Splits. That was kind of late. ESS is hard on classic controller thing. Uh, I can't skip the salesman because you can't really pause buffer. Well, then the strat is plug in your GameCube controller when you do Lullaby Skip, and then plug in your classic controller when you do Mega Flips. Actually, couldn't you? I, I think you said something like that, the sauce is that you can ha use both at the same time or something. Because one goes into the Wii mode and one goes into the Wii. I might run OT sometime. Yes, maybe that's a strat. Mash trolley cutscene skip on both. Nice. 
Yeah, I might run OT sometime, just like I might run Pokemon sometime, just like I might run Donkey Kong 64 sometime. Like, it's not gonna happen. But, I might do it sometime. <laughs> it's not actually gonna happen though, because I can't leave this game. Oh, Wind Waker, I'm not gonna run. That's not even. I haven't even considered that. But I might do it sometime. Wind Waker bug limit. I have no idea what that run looks like. Yeah, I will run World of Warcraft. It comes out in like eight days or something. No, seven days? I don't know. So I'll do that. thing I've ever seen with my own two eyes. Hmm, maybe I should see it then. Yeah, I'll stream it. I don't think I'll get any viewers, but like World of Warcraft is like is one of my the games that I grew up with. And now that they're releasing classic, I just like I have to play it. So I'm just gonna stream it for like two weeks maybe, get it out of my system, and then we can go back to Majora's Mask. But it will still be uh, speedrunning, because I'll try to get to level 60 as fast as I can. I already practiced a little bit on a private server. So we'll see if I can do it fast. Fairbank server. I have no idea which server I will play on. Well, all I know is I'm not going to play on a PvP server because that makes leveling stupid because you get killed. Uh, so it will just be the lowest population non-PvP server. Lowest population because the less players there are less people in my way for leveling. And there will be a European server because I live in Europe. Uh, I should have skipped those rupees. Do you get their gear? No, you don't get their gear. When you kill someone you get like honor points. Sure, I, no, I don't think I can make it on time. But that's still better than East Clock Town. Uh, I'm gonna play a Troll Hunter. Fastest class and race, I think. Uh, the voting ends tonight, but it's already like 90% says it will be allowed, so it's basically already decided. The 100% vote is more interesting because that's basically a 50-50, so I think there will be a... Well, there were, there were like three options, and it was like... Like 40-40-20 or something, so I think there will be a revote with only two options. And then we'll see which... Or we'll see if the main 100% category will allow Debo menu. I hope so. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can't make it. Actually, I don't know if this was faster than East Clock Town rupees. Maybe not. Well, you only get items from the debug menu that don't have a source requirement, so you only get like stray fairies and rupees and golden sculptures and boss keys and small keys uh, and middle upgrades like medium quiver, medium bomb bag, lullaby intro. So you, you don't actually get source requirement items, but you get other stuff. I think you get some source requirement items though, but you still get them later. I think mirror shield you will get, because mirror shield you can just collect over and over. Same with all knight's mask, I think. Lol, your viewers want Fortnite and you're playing this crap. Oh, nice. <laughs> you, you said this isn't ass mister, where's the tits? Well, sorry, but ass mister is not the same thing as tits. I guess most of the time it is. But... On my stream, you get ass mister without tits. One of the few. I usually don't like doing something, people just tell me to do something, but but uh, if it will shut you guys up, I'll do it. Oh, now my split didn't work, because I was in the middle of changing the icon. Okay, so... There, happy. Yeah, I, I didn't forget the split, but it didn't work because I was in the settings menu. You do have a nice voice, thanks. But yeah, that's not why I have the Ask Mister tag. Usually you can hear my sons uh, screaming in the background and you can also hear my neighbors drilling and also the controller presses oh my god this song is so hard when it's lagging so all that combined I think I deserve to have the ass mister tag on my stream thanks Peter beginner yeah we're doing good That's a good point sample name. <laughs> I never thought about that. Yeah, the left emote is actually a right arm. And the right emote is a left arm. Maybe it's the front of a left arm, but mirrored vertically. Hmm. 200 IQ. Nice burn.
doesn't look like the back of the arm. If you look at the thumb position and the, the bicep. What? Uh, oh wait, I'm pressing the wrong button. Oops. <laughs> okay, I forgot my button layout. <laughs> oh my god. I should just get a class controller. I can't get used to the gamepad. But I mean, I'm so used to the GameCube controller, so I normally just go on autopilot during these cutscenes. But now, I also try to go on autopilot, but that didn't work. I'm not used to the controller. Would I take you to, with me vlog style to a store to go get one? Or are you gonna do the boring thing and order one? Uh, I'm probably gonna order one because it's much easier. But I still have to go to the store to pick it up. But yeah, if you want to have a video of me walking for 10 minutes. Picking up my controller. And then walking for 10 minutes again. And then the video ends, then sure. They don't deliver. Uh, no. Doesn't fit in the mailbox or the the thing in the door. Like if you order something online, you you I will get it to the local supermarket and then go pick it up. Even when they sent me the microphone. I have to go out to the parking lot to go get it. But yeah, um... <laughs> First I sent it to the golf club, yeah. But this is a better system, like... I think it's way better of a system, like, uh... That the customer just has a pickup point. Where you pick up the stuff. It's way less work for the workers than have to individually go to each and single house to deliver the packages. They just go to the pickup point, drop off everything there, and then the customers go there to collect it. Seems like a much better system. But in Sweden, at least where I've lived, that's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> you guys interact with other people. We prefer zero interaction. It's a much better system. How does it work for you, Calzone? You live in Stockholm. Do they deliver? Or do you have to go pick it up at the store? If you order something. No. Okay, well, almost. You never even heard of people getting packages to their home. Yeah, so I guess it's just... Uh, that's how it works in Sweden.
Was that three pauses? Guess that's okay. Well, that was way better than last run. It's so hard to get good movement here because the lily pads move slightly. they move a little bit back and forth. It's super annoying. What? That looked good. Uh why? Ah, this run sucks now. Good, what the hell, man? Maybe it was too far to the left? Any more reckies yet? No. This is my second run today. My first run crashed on the, when I tried to open the debug menu. So I think I got the wrong frame on the bomb. Okay, so now my health is not good, but doesn't matter. Hmm. Man, this this was like an okay run, except for uh, failing, learning, song of healing. <laughs> but I, I think I'm still in more good pace. The new route is fun. Not as fun as the old route, but it's still fun. Yeah, I forgot my button layout, so I, I kept pressing C up. I thought that was C left for some reason. Not even second try, it was like third try. I also failed some of time, but that's because that cut seems so laggy. Super slide here. Damn it. Ah, okay, I didn't get the back walk, but I still got the slide. Ah. Oops. Do this a bit safer instead of doing going for a one pause. Okay, I know for sure that frame works. So if it crashes this time, it was because I messed up something else. Thanks, Eleanor.
The door frame push pushed me. Oh, I didn't notice. I guess we'll find out. If I if it doesn't work, then maybe that's why. Yeah, Zelda speedrunning changed a lot this year. explain eighteen I'm playing Majora's Mask right now and I'm currently beating the game. Nineteen Hey Vape Lord thanks I started at eleven because that's the that's the index value you start with when you put the cursor on uh, R. Why am I doing this? I'm going to open a menu to give myself all the items I need to beat the game. Yeah, I think the door pushing me could make it not work. So I need to target the the door frame further to the right. Um yeah, there's a there's Saria Song and Sun Song that you can get in the debug menu that you can't get normally. There's also a bunch of uh, um, you can get the Ocarina of Time Mirror Shield. You can get Fierce Deity Sword on B, but it crashes, so it doesn't it doesn't actually work. You can get a bunch of trade items that you normally can't get. Like you can get a lot of Ocarina of Time trade items, like the The frog, poacher saw, prescription, uh, eye drops. I don't remember them all, but you, you can get all of those. Then you can get a bunch of bottle items like the Hylian loach, blue fire, and a bunch of Obaba strings. 
And you can get a bunch of moon's tears that act like pendants when you pull it out. It doesn't actually work though for the quest. I think that's it. Obama? No, Obaba. I don't even know why it's called Obaba's drink. That's what it's called apparently. Why does this only work here? Well, I don't know. Ask the smart people. I know that Deku Palace is good because you can unload the rooms very easily, which makes it easier to manipulate the values. Exactly sure what it means. It means grandma in Japanese. Oh. Interesting. We haven't voted yet if this should be allowed in 100%. Well, we are we are currently voting. The voting ends today or tonight. Um, it's basically a 50-50, it seems like. But I mean, I will I will do 100% with this glitch, no matter what the voting says. Uh, the voting is more like what should be the main 100% category. If if this should be allowed to be used in the main 100% category, or if it should be. Or if. We should have like a separate name for this 100% with debug menu or 100% with text overflow or something like that. I assume they will both be on leaderboards, but yeah, it's just. It's just what should be called 100%. That's what the voting is for. So I'll still do 100% with this glitch no matter what happens with the votes. I really think, for any percent, this glitch makes the run kind of lame, but for 100% it makes it really cool. Uh, setting up the debug menu takes about 12 minutes, 13 minutes. It makes 100% cool because you get Sunsong, which uh, changes the route a lot and speeds up a lot of waiting parts, so the route can flow better. And uh, you skip all the boring rupee grinding for bank heart piece. That's the main reasons. Oh, you also get Great Fairy Sword for Twin Mold. <laughs> it's so dumb. Like Great Fairy Sword, Power Crowd Stab with Giant's Mask. That has to be like the best thing ever. Yeah, Sunsong makes time go fast, just like an Ocarina of Time. Time will go super fast until it turns day or night. Song of Double Time makes it night or day instantly, while Sunsong makes it makes the time go super fast. So like, let's say you're doing aliens. If you just play Song of Double Time, then, well, now it will be day two, and the aliens won. But with Sun Song, it won't just instantly turn day two, it will just like speed up the clock. So the aliens will also move faster because they move according to the in game clock, so they will die faster. And you can also like. Uh, like, for example, you can set the midnight meeting at 6 pm. 
on day one. And then you have to wait until midnight. So normally you have to wait six full hours. Song of Double Time would make it day two, so that's bad. But what you can do is you can just play Sun Song to make the timer go super fast. And then when the timer hits midnight, you enter a loading zone. Then after the loading zone, the timer won't go fast anymore. So now it's midnight and the timer is moving normally and then you can just do midnight meeting. So, uh, and you can also use Sun Song in, in rooms where Song with Double Time doesn't work. So I think that's all the differences between Sun Song and Song of Double Time. So it, it's basically just a more powerful Song of Double Time, I guess. Or like you have more options, I guess. Saria Song makes it so the final hours music is playing, and that's it. Nothing else happens. <laughs> it's pretty dumb. Inverted, inverted song of time, pretty much. Alright. My counter says 64, I'm sure that's off, but I can look at the cursor precision. Oh, this is the one actually. Dude, I'm on 65 on my counter, but this is actually 73. Alright. Okay, it works. Cool. So let's go. Wait. Oh, I almost didn't give myself oath. Okay. Uh, is this PB pace? I don't know. <laughs> 42 pace. Oh, I keep forgetting, I should equip Bomb Chew on the last pause of the in of the soaring. I will never remember that. Okay, so the door pushing me didn't break it. That's good. Or the door frame pushing me. Hey Michael, I'm doing good. Is 100% possible with debug mode? Yeah, you can save maybe 20 minutes in 100% with the debug menu. In itself, it saves like 40 minutes, but you lose like 10 minutes from setting up the glitch and then another 10 minutes from playing on Wii U. Yeah, after I get a nice time in any percent, that's what I'll do next. Alright, I'll be right back.
Okay, I don't. Am I on PB pace? I don't think so. I think this split takes. Well, I think maybe I can get a small PB. Because I think this split takes like just over 8 minutes. High gold, two second PB, yeah. Hmm. This run felt like my PB was trash, and this run felt way better, but it's still not that much better. Kind of weird. Um, yeah, I feel like. I should be more ahead. I'm a bit confused. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Octoskid. Oh, that's probably why. Yeah, that probably cost me 30 seconds or something. I guess that makes sense then. Did I ever test turning Deku before Fierce DD? No, I guess I can test that in this run. So I'll equip Fierce DD and Deku. And see. Oh, it does work? Cool. Yeah, my donation goal is a house, because that's what I want to buy next. No, it's uh, donations and bids. Sub revenue goes to like rent and stuff. It's not a joke. I am saving for a house. The game is officially broken, yes, pretty much. Why would it not be real? Of course it's real. I need to practice quick slide. And Oh my god, well now the run's dead. No PB? Uh, maybe I can get a small PB. Okay, so... First TD and Deku. And then put on Deku first, and then first TD. Saves probably a second or something. Because, um... Normally, there's a cutscene the first time you put on Fierce DD. But the cutscene gets skipped if you put on Deku first. I use a price quick slide and Majora. That's it. Like this swamp route's so easy. There's like nothing to practice. Man, she's too close. It's better when she's far away. But that was not too fast. All right. I think I can PB. Uh, this route's super new runner friendly because it's it's very easy. It has almost no tricks. <laughs> it has like two tricks, maybe three. Oh yeah, I, like this part I have to practice. I don't know a good way of doing it. Okay. Well, new PB. 
still not sub 50. Yeah, I'm gonna practice his strat, it looked nice. Yeah, I still haven't done a run where I got all the splits. I have missed a split in every run. No, this is not gonna be my only PB today. I have another five hours to stream. There's no way I don't beat this in five hours. Yeah, but I haven't done 100% in almost a year, so I kind of don't remember it. Yeah, you can save state for the Majora fights. It's nice. It will make practicing it very easy. So that's good. Go practice real quick. No, I'm too lazy. I just want to get a sub 50 and then we can practice stuff. Still doing runs glitchless. No. Okay, the worst part is that credits take forever. I just want to do another run right now, but in the rules of the leaderboards, it says you have to reach the, the end screen, so I have to watch the credits now. It takes like 10 minutes or something. Uh, I got fair DD by giving it to me in the debug menu. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna submit all my PBs just so I can have like uh, my, my PB history on my profile. I'm not just gonna submit the fast one whenever the rules are decided. I will still submit like all of my PBs that I've gotten. That would be cool. Someone uh, someone whispered me saying that he made gecko codes for Wii U. Uh, with like infinite explosives and yeah, like getting any item and stuff like that, so that's cool. I don't think I really need it for any percent, because any percent has like no tricks, but that will be very useful for practicing 100%. And like we, I already have safe states. But yeah, I'll I'll try that out for 100% practice. Yeah, like I don't know if it works because I haven't tried it. But he he just said that it works. I, I can post it in the Discord. Just watch the credits next run. Well, then I can't submit this run. This is the world record. <laughs> I'm not even excited to get world record with this route. Like when you got world record with the other route, it was so like awesome and I had so many uh, emotions, but now it's like, okay. Can I do the next run now? But yeah, I, I mean, it's because the run isn't optimized, I guess. Uh, no, it wasn't Krim. Some guy named Wahob the Smasher sent me a uh, Wii U Japanese version. Gecko codes. But yeah, I'll, I'll post it in the Discord server. I posted it in the soft modding channel.
Uh, this is the official record. I just did it. Well, no, I, I could crash. I could get a VC crash or something, or my power could go out right now, which means I wouldn't reach the, the end screen, which means my run is invalid. So, as long as my computer doesn't explode, then uh, this will be the official record. I mean, I guess it's not really official until it's on the leaderboards. So it won't really be official until tomorrow. I think I can start submitting tomorrow because then the rules should be decided. Because the rules say that you have to reach the screen. <laughs> I don't know why. I think there was a reason, I mean obviously there's a reason, but I don't remember. Um, but yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, the other route was much cooler, I agree. But I don't think that's why it felt better to get a PB on that route. I think it's because the runs aren't very optimized yet with this route, so... Like, basically any run that I finish is a new PB at this point. Pretty much. So of course it doesn't really feel special when I get it, but once the record is like 48 minutes, then it's gonna be pretty hard to beat, and then it will probably feel awesome to get it. What is this mask? What is this mask? I don't know. This game had masks? Yeah, it has Deku and Fierce Mask. Which parts do you skip with the new route? You skip all the temples. Uh, no, I haven't tried that. I, I read that it was faster. I can... Try it. Yeah, I think it's faster even if you don't super slide, because there's no loading zone. The loading zone takes so long. I could try it in the next run. So the left, I guess it's the left room. I guess the right room doesn't seem good. Yeah. So I'm just gonna Rico flip past the guards and then roll over there. It wasn't in four months, it was like eight months. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of happy. I was getting tired of the 114 grind. I mean, I wasn't gonna give up or anything, but I did get tired of it after eight months of not getting it. So this is a nice change. I'm, I'm enjoying it for sure. For 5555 five, five, five attempts, anything special? Yeah, I'll do a run. I will do a speed run on attempt 5555. Five, five, five. That will be my special celebration. Yeah, we'll probably do 100% soon, in a few months maybe. <laughs> 
I don't know how long I'll do this, but I'll do 100% the next. Oops. I opened that thing. Whoa, thanks for the host, Linkus. Hope you had a good stream. Thank you very much. And welcome all the Linkus viewers. Here I spear a Majora's Mask. With a, a glitch that was very recently found. And just got a new record, but I'm gonna beat this again. Right now. That's a long stream. Yeah, have fun, have a good night, or a good day. <laughs> nice <laughs> sleep schedule. <laughs> Alright, um, so that is that is the new world record. So thanks for watching uh, the highlights. Thank you, and everybody say goodbye to YouTube. And Twitter and Discord and MySpace and Facebook and Tinder and Reddit and... What else? All the social medias. Thank you for watching, and uh, I will beat this right now, so uh, expect another video instantly after this one. <laughs> Man, there's so many YouTube videos now. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye bye.